Landmark College Library offers a wide variety of services and resources for students, faculty, and staff, both on campus and off. This brief video will provide an overview of the library website, as well as demonstrate searching the library's physical collection and our online collection using the Discover database. On the main library page, under Search the Library, click on Print Books, DVDs, and CDs. We'll do a search for Dyslexia and College. This searches the library's physical collection of books, movies, and music. It came up with 26 items. You can either narrow it down by format or simply scroll through to see what's been listed. When you find something you like, click on the title, and then you can review the summary of the item. And if you like the summary, then simply look at the shelf location, write down all the numbers and letters, and make sure the item is available under status. If you have a large number of items that you are searching for, it can be helpful to log in and create a free account. Doing so will allow you to use the list feature. You can also use another unique feature, which you don't need to log into, called Browse Virtual Shelf. This lets you see other items next to your chosen item without even going to find the physical item itself. Back on the library homepage, under Search the Library, Make sure the Discover tab is selected, and we'll do a search for dyslexia and college students. You'll notice that college students is in quotation marks, and that's telling the database to keep that phrase together. Whenever you're searching a library database, it's always wise to not use natural language. Databases like keywords and phrases, nothing more. So we'll do a general search. When you're off campus and you access the databases, you will be prompted to put in a landmark username and password, which is your first and last name with no spaces and a password. You can see that in our results, we came up with over 10,000 items, which is far too many to go through. So we're going to do an advanced search and modify the search a little bit. And this will help focus the search process because discover searches the majority of Landmark's other databases all at the same time, it gives you a huge number of results. And because of that, it's really helpful to always do a focused search when you're using Discover. So we've moved college students to the second line, and so it's dyslexia and college students. It will come up with titles that have both of those terms in the results. Now we're going to tell it to search for the word dyslexia in the title. And then we'll tell it to search for college students in the abstract. The abstract is the summary of an article, and all articles in the databases will have this summary. And if your keyword is in either the title or the abstract, that will automatically mean that your results will be much more focused. So we've gone from over 10,000 results to 85, which is a big improvement. But databases also have other filters that you can apply. And so we're going to apply some additional filters. We're going to say that we only want full text articles, and we'd also only like peer-reviewed articles. And we'll see how that narrows it even further. So now we've come up with 31 items. And you can scroll through, and you'll see that they are all peer-reviewed articles. And if you click on an item that you like, it will take you into the record, and you can go down and review the abstract or the summary. Reading the summary is a wonderful way to get an idea of what an article is about. And usually that's enough to let you know 
whether or not it's the article for you. If you do like the article, there are several ways to access it. You can click on Access It Now, and it will give you certain options, either online full text or PDF full text, and then you can download it. There are also tools for citation. You simply click on that and choose the appropriate citation style that your professor has recommended, and then simply copy and paste the item into a separate document, as we don't have any third-party citation resources. We also have the ability to add it to a project, and to do that you would actually have to log in and create a free account. But that can be helpful when you're managing multiple projects and lots of research at once. Finally, you can share it or download it as well. Going back to the main library web page, we have other resources on the left hand side, including books, video, and audio. We have our ebook academic collection. We have encyclopedias, both general and subject specific. We have Films on Demand, our streaming videos service. And finally, we have the ability to search other libraries. And if you see something either at another library or in Discover or any of the databases, and it's only a summary or an abstract rather than a full text, you can use this form and request that we order the article for you, and we're happy to do that. Interlibrary loan articles usually can arrive in a couple of days. We have a full listing of our article databases alphabetically with a number of different databases. Academic OneFile and Academic Search Premier are good multi-purpose databases for lots of topics. Then we have Biography or Gale in Context, good for information about people. And then we have a wide variety of different academic databases, as well as the New York Times. We have class and subject guides that are geared specifically towards curated collections of items for classes, citation guides, and our neurodiversity collection. If you have any questions, and need any additional assistance, simply go to the main library page and either chat with us in our chat box if we're open or certainly contact us via any of our phone numbers or email addresses here. We're always happy to help.